There's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although, she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps, ultimately, our downfall. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No. I'm right here. Completely in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. That shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. Solano's gonna flip when he hears this. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. He's been kind enough to agree to help us find Galvin. I am at your service. To whatever extent I can be of help. If nothing else, I'm sure you're happy for a change of scenery. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for... What, exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. You'll have to forgive him. I'm sure he meant nothing by it. I know exactly what he meant. His disrespect speaks for itself. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? Captain, I know it's a risk. But right now it's our best shot at finding Galvin and that ship. Here she was, naive enough to believe it wouldn't be a problem. Little did she realize the levels of ignorance and incompetence she was up against. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, 
We'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Ryder, a word. And to think I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane. And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. Captain, you have my word. I will do everything within my power to protect you. I appreciate that. It's not just my career on the line here. It's both of ours. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I will found it something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades cluster. I'll let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar, set a course for the Palisades cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. You always have my back. They say the true measure of a leader is being able to admit your mistakes. So thank you. Next time I'll do a better job of listening. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions. Or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? 
The Scions could have someone on the ship, doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Hmm, there's a lot of noise in here. I should scan the device putting out the most radiation to filter it out. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. A little bit of harmless radiation leakage here, but enough to mask the tetrametric pulses. Easy enough to cancel out. There's still something drowning out the tetrametric radiation. I need to find it so I could filter it out as well. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. Found it. Excuse me, do you belong here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know it was you. Paul. Calloway, right? Yes, I... You know, it means a lot that you remembered. What uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but... First officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. Just a routine systems check. We've been having problems with our comms lately. Oh, that's news to me. I haven't heard anything about it. Probably because the comm system isn't working. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. We have to trace every contact, starting with engineering, which is where the device was planted. At least that narrows the list. But we still have to go back quite a while. Whatever it takes. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? 
Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. I would feel more comfortable if you did. I understand. Clear. Now it's your turn. Sure. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. I'll filter out the duplicates. Eh, that helps. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Now this is manageable. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Let's see who's left. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited Engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi on your four. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. He fits the profile for the kind of people the Takan want to biofor. People with authority that can lead to them gaining more control. Like Galvin? The Queen? The captain of a Federation starship. What happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I found the device. The interference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? Based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location of what was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. What kind of weapons are in this arsenal? Uh, it's difficult to know what would have survived from the time of the Empire, but be assured that the damage they have done so far by altering your current technology will be minuscule compared to proper Taconian firepower. If Galvin and the other science secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Dakon were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a scion hidden among your crew, and it is unlikely this interference device was the Scion Saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvin and the Saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. I don't know for sure. We're still investigating. 
And we're losing valuable time. Bioforming was so rare in the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Whoever you suspect, proof is something you will have to provide on your own. I'll have it, once I've bioscanned the person I suspect. I just need to visit Dr. Duval. That's quite the claim. You told me you were worried about him. But I never imagined this was what was wrong. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. I would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. Maybe your life. I don't know if I would be on my own. But with your support, I'm sure we can do it. That smooth talking may come in handy. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim. Or this could all blow up in our faces. Uh, you better think long and hard about who you can trust. limited bursts of warp output. Yeah, but they won't get to wherever they were headed at this rate. They're just limping along now. So where does that put us? Maybe I can answer that. Got the ship's heading. They've changed course. Drastically. Looks like they're headed here. The Usonia system. They might stop there. Can we use the Zeldi's comms to signal your fleet? Our comm systems are locked. Grab hold! Zeldi is still made by a Lydian hand. Spirals to calm corruption. We'll hold. We just gotta stay safe until Starfleet can find us. Your people. Is there somewhere you go when you die? Life after death? No. On my home world, some people think they can cheat death in a way by joining with the Trill symbiont. But that's not a life to me. Hmm. What about you? Is there another plane of existence for you? With every passing battle? I believe there's an afterlife. You do? Yeah. 
then you should understand this. My people have a special journey. When Elidians die, we rejoin our comrades, family, and ancestors. On the parade grounds of Cirella? That is just one part of it, but yes. Death is not the end for us. So, even if some part of Itasca remains, by letting the Dakarn use her body, at best we are delaying the inevitable next step for her. At worst, we are leaving her as a prisoner in her own mind. You want to save the transformed. So do I. Now that I've seen it happen, does it make me a hypocrite to say he has a point? What if we can't get them back? We can't leave them like that, right? I think Itasca would want to be released. To think of what she could be going through right now. It's a torturous idea. I know it's awful to think about, but if they're still alive, we can still try to help them. We lose that option once they're dead. I had a sister, a twin. It's very rare among the trail. You never told me that. She was one of the youngest hosts to ever join with the Symbian. A sentient creature that lives in our body. It's considered a great honor. The Symbian can bring centuries of knowledge and wisdom to the host. But sometimes, the symbiont personality suppresses the host entirely. My sister was the closest person in the world to me. I knew she would be different after joining, but she drew more and more distant. The room we shared growing up was foreign to the both of us. And eventually she, or whoever she'd become, cut me out entirely. So I left for Starfleet and swore I'd never go back. I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her. You should try to see her again. When all this is over, maybe things have changed for her after you've been away for years. I, I couldn't go back. Not now. You remind me of Itasca. I do. Bonds are not made by what runs through your veins, but the blood you spill together. Itasca was my family in that way. I want you to know there is nothing I won't sacrifice to win this fight. But if we're lucky enough to survive, I'd be honored if you'd count me as one of your tribe. As Itasca was. Even a couple of engineers like us? I don't need to wait that long. We've bled together. No one else will know what we've been through. That makes us a tribe. Right here. I'll take that. Will they not cease this madness? What is this place? Is that the Veskar? Another one of yours? Not anymore. They've corrupted it. Just like the Zeldi. Now there are two ships. Did this just get better, or worse? It certainly doesn't bode well for the crew of the Veskar. So many lives... stolen. We're really at the heart of this fight now. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna do about it. This doesn't look like the Aphelion. What are they doing here? You don't think they're just meeting their buddies? Maybe, but... then why are their buddies here? Prepare for transfer. The storm! It's back! What happened? Hold on. Scanning. Tetrometric radiation has dropped. The Zeldi's dropped to minimal power levels. It's running off just the one warp core now. That means... They've sent the Cartabula to that other ship. Something wrong, Captain? No, nothing's wrong. 
In fact, I was just going to call for you. I'm needed down in engineering. The bridge is yours. Lieutenant Bedrosian, a word, please. Yes, Commander. What can I do for you? Listen, the captain may have been compromised. What? I have every reason to believe he has been bioformed and is now actively working against us. Hold on. This makes no sense. Did Portal do something to you? I'm dead serious. Someone is sabotaging the mission. They planted a Taconian device in engineering. Captain Solano was in engineering while we were on Delphi Ardu 4, and he purposely evaded Dr. Duval's bioscan. He's not Captain Solano anymore. He's a scion. Which would make you captain. So you're saying you're taking command of the ship? Because if you are, that's one hell of a bold move. And you better be absolutely sure you have your facts straight. As first officer, it is my duty and responsibility to protect the interests of the ship and its crew when the captain has been compromised. I get that part. I read the manual. But without proof, you're talking about mutiny. I have Duval's support. We're going to ask the captain to undergo a bioscan. When he refuses, I need you to back me up. I've already sacrificed a lot for this mission. I hope to have a long career, one just like yours. We do this, we could be thrown in the brig, stripped of our rank, or worse. Is it worth risking everything on your hunch? I haven't been a bridge officer for very long. I don't want it to end before it even starts. You have to trust me. I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was the right thing to do. You do always choose the good of the mission. I know that better than most. So, my answer is yes. I'm with you no matter what. When do we act? Now. Dr. Duvall is already on the bridge. All right. I'm ready. Now or never. Captain Solano. Commander Rydeck, we need to talk about... Doctor? What brings you to the bridge? Just a bit of housekeeping. You owe me a bioscan, Captain. I don't have time for that right now. It will only take a moment. I can't put this off any longer. You can, and you will. All you'll find is that I'm quite reasonably under stress, given the circumstances, and you aren't making it better. I'll find you in sickbay when I'm good and ready. Or, if you're gonna stand in the way of the mission, I can find you in the brig instead. It's merely protocol, Captain. All officers that touch alien soil have to be bioscanned. I know the protocol. It's not more important than chasing down these Taconian marauders. Commander Rydek is right, Captain. We all have to follow the rules. What is this? 
We need you to comply with the scan, Captain. That's enough. Drop this. All of you. I'm giving you a direct order, Commander Rydeck. Stand down and go back to your post. Now. Do not make me tell you again. I've been a starship captain since before you were in the Academy. I won't stand for this. I refuse. So do the others. Well then, you've left me no choice. Security to the bridge. Arrest Commander Rydek. Take her to the brig. On what charge? Conspiring with the enemy and mutiny. Get back. Give her a chance to speak. Let's hear what she has to say. That's enough, Lieutenant Petrosian. Step aside or you'll join her in the brig. No. This is not Captain Solano. He's been bioformed. He's a scion. You're out of your mind. She can prove it. He sabotaged our efforts to track Galvin with this. He planted it in engineering while we were down on Delphi Ardu 4. Lies! Perpetrated by the only Chakan in our midst, Portal 6-3. He's actively trying to divide us from within. Captain Solano has refused to be bioscanned because he knows it will reveal he's a scion. Take her to the brig or I'll do it myself. Wait! Stand down! That's an order! What is the meaning of this? Everyone hold until we get answers. This cannot happen on the bridge of a Federation starship. I can prove I'm right if you just give me a chance. If I'm wrong, then I will face the consequences. If you're wrong, there's no coming back from this. I'm going to settle this once and for all. Commander Rydek was right. Captain Solano has been compromised. He's been bioformed into a Takan. As the Chief Medical Officer of the USS Resolute, I am relieving Captain Zachary Solano of command. Take him to the brig. I don't know what I expected, but not this. I can't believe I shot the captain. I... I don't think Starfleet likes it when you do that. Even when you're right. It doesn't look good. I might not be alive if you hadn't. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Set course for the Usonia system. Maximum warp. It's time to face Galvin. Yes, Commander. Sorry. Captain. On your command. Make way.
to maximum, but with the algorithms compromised, they may not do much. Captain, that other Illidian ship is here. The Zeldi? We're outnumbered. Captain, your orders. Invasive maneuvers. Aye, Captain. Vescar's warp engines are powering up. The warp engines are offline. That must have been their goal. They didn't want us to chase the Vescar. According to my readings, they also took the Cartabula with them. They're not breaking off. We have to destroy the Zeldi before it destroys us. Diaz and Edsel are still over there? They'll need to evacuate. <sighs> Come on. I almost have it. They gotta know we're here. Hurry. You got it? Got it. Diaz to Resolute. We read you, Diaz. This is Ermot. It's good to hear your voice. Is Edsalar? Is she with you? Everyone wants to know. Are you kidding me? I couldn't get rid of her. I don't doubt that, Petty Officer. Can you get us out of here? I can't transport you out while the Zeldi's shields are up. Our phaser fire won't even get through. Is there another way off that ship? We'll find a way. Whatever you do, you'll have to be quick about it. Because we can't give you much more time. We can't evade the Zeldi forever. Understood. Diaz out. We're gonna have to get out of here the old-fashioned way. Lydian ships have no escape pod. We can leave out that cargo bay we transported to before. But then there's the vacuum of space to contend with. Those freight containers. Maybe we could use those to make an escape pod? Is that even possible? We're gonna make it possible. Unless you have a better idea. Let's go. I've polarized the hull plating. That should allow us to take a few more hits. Enemy phaser impact dissipated. Heading, Captain? Attack pattern Beta 3. Circle around that asteroid and come back firing. Aye, Captain. Zeldi, in range. Fire! Zeldi shields down to 82%. But they're hitting us right back. We'll run out of hull before we penetrate their shields. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I can modify your impulse engines to amplify their meager output and avoid more of their attack. But I will need full access to your propulsion system. That goes against dozens of Starfleet regulations. Not a security risk if the alternative is destruction. To me, it's simple. You can take this beat and hope you can weather it. Or... Will you put your trust in me? I've left everything behind for you. The least you can do is put your faith in me. Commander Ermot, give Bortle access to the propulsion systems. You're going to have the ship in your hands. Don't let me down. This will take a moment.
our ship has let up its fire. That gives us some time. All right. One of these freight containers should do the trick. Be quick. We need one big enough for all of us to fit inside. Something we can make airtight. Damn it. Not this one. Not enough room for the big guy. Go! This'll work! That's great, but it's not airtight yet. No problem. We'll just seal it up. This container is extremely heavy. Even with the containment field open, it won't leave the bay quickly. I'll find something to accelerate our exit. Charging. Now's our window. We have to strike back. I agree. Their next barrage could be our last. Better make this count. Target their weapon systems. Take the teeth out of their bite. That could make them run. Just like the Veskar, we'd lose Diaz and Edzilar again. Hit their engines. We've already lost the Veskar. We need to protect ourselves first. Target their propulsion systems. I don't want them going anywhere. Targeting their engines. right out of here. All set. I'll set the containment field to deactivate, and then run back. We can detonate by remote. We'll need to seal the doors from inside the container once we do. Before all the air sucks out of the cargo bay. Resolute. I have the away team. Go ahead. We're about to exit. We see the cargo bay containment field is deactivated. Get that tractor beam ready. And you should know, the Zeldi is set to self-destruct. If we do enough damage to the Zeldi first, it'll prevent the self-destruct sequence from completing. We can't wait any longer. We have to fire. Captain, they're almost out of there. We need to act fast. Hold all fire! Get out of there, Petty Officer.
Do it now. You heard her. Done. Ready? Detonate! Sensors. Tractor beam activated. Locked on and ready to fire. Fire! Tracked a transporter signal to the planetoid moments before the Zeldi detonated. Sidron. There's a Takan structure there. It's the reason they were here. It's the reason we are here. Now. I have to see it for myself. We'll go there together. I had assumed as much. Is this the Takan arsenal Galvin was after? Legend says this region once held the sacred mysteries of the Takan Empire. Our greatest treasure. Our most fearsome technology. I want a full security detail. Westbrook, Bredrosian, you're with me. Mr. Ermont, you have the con. Wait. <clears throat> You're not the first officer anymore. The captain is supposed to stay with the ship. I'm surprised Lieutenant Bedrosian didn't raise that first. I thought Captain Rydek knew what she was doing. You're right. But this is too important for me to sit out. You'll just have to make sure nothing happens to me down there. Of course, Captain. We'll deal with the first officer vacancy when we return. Until then, Mr. Ermont? Yes, Captain. Not that I can see. High alert, everyone. The enemy could be anywhere. Follow my lead. Let's make this a short mission. All right. That's the plan. I'm no security officer. I'll do my best to make sure nothing happens to you. Captain.
I don't see a way in. The vault in the mines was already open. There must be some way to activate it. Portal, can you open it? It is a Taconian vault. I thought you'd never ask. Better to keep it simple. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face. Nicely done. Spread out. Let's see what we can find. And stay on high alert. We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here could be. You will need my help, Commander. How so? Traversal here is trivial for a Takan, but only a Takan. When you come across a device you cannot use, merely call my name. Will do. Thank you. <laughs> 